Dear classmates, I congratulate us for having the power. Who would have thought one can major in social media, minor in cartology, <laughs> or major in mobile legends, minor in insomada bakery, or major in TikTok, minor in anime studies. <laughs> Toto O oh, and Cheese Miss, we really can do it all. And since we still have loads to discover, it is time to get giga powered with Smart Giga Power. Enjoy 20 gigabytes for all sites and apps for only 149 pesos, so we can jump from app to app, passion to passion, chica to chica. Para more, more, more ang saya. Get giga powered na day. <clears throat> My apologies. Download the GigaLife app and choose Giga Power. Simply smart to Dear classmates, I congratulate us for having the power. Who would have thought one can major in social media, minor in cartology, <laughs> or major in mobile legends, minor in insomada bakery, <laughs> or major in TikTok, minor in anime studies. <laughs> Toto O oh, and Cheese Miss, we really can do it all. And since we still have loads to discover, it is time to get giga powered with Smart Giga Power. Enjoy 20 gigabytes for all sites and apps for only 149 pesos, so we can jump from app to app, passion to passion, chica to chica. Para more, more, more ang saya. Get giga powered na day. <clears throat> My apologies. Download the Giga Life app and choose Giga Power. Simply Smart to code. One, two, 
one, two, three. in my Dear classmates, I congratulate us for having the power. Who would have thought one can major in social media, minor in cartology, or major in mobile legends, minor in insomada baking, or major in TikTok, minor in anime studies. Toto O and Cheese Miss, we really can do it all. And since we still have loads to discover, it is time to get giga powered with Smart Giga Power. Enjoy 20 gigabytes for all sites and apps for only 149 pesos, so we can jump from app to app. Passion to passion, chica to chica. Para more, more, more ang saya. Get giga powered na day. <clears throat> My apologies. Download the Giga Life app and choose Giga Power. Simple, smart to code. Dear classmates, I congratulate us for having the power. Who would have thought one can major in social media, minor in cartology, or major in mobile legends, minor in insomada baking, or major in TikTok, minor in anime studies. Toto O and Cheese Miss, we really can do it all. And since we still have loads to discover, it is time to get giga powered with Smart Giga Power. Enjoy 20 gigabytes for all sites and apps for only 149 pesos, so we can jump from app to app. Passion to passion, chica to chica. Para more, more, more ang saya. Get giga powered na day. <clears throat> My apologies. Download the Giga Life app and choose Giga Power. Simply, Smart Echo. in my house. <laughs> my old ugly mug is back for the first time since Subic. <laughs> but your Spider-Man necktie making my a dip debut no, here. It's hidden. They don't know that I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> Ayan, tingnan mo naman yan. 
Aí, opa. Next well. The master shots of Bugui. That's my dirty car. <laughs> yung white Innova po sa kanya po yun. <laughs> no, tinago na nga doon sa may puno. Kita pa rin eh. <laughs> Family's brand sardines. Atami sardines. Zambuanga. And Nadia Miravalles. Are you with us? Can you hear us? Nadia Miravalles. Check, check. No relation to uh, my accountant. Ay. Card side, Nadj po. Sound card check. Card side. Okay, very good. Temperature continues to rise in the metropolis, and that, of course, is the same here. At the Muntin Lupa Sports Center, where our own personal helicopter was able to take and capture these shots coming into today's game. Game two of our triple header. Dito po sa ating tuloy na paghatid sa inyo ng Phil Basket Summer Championship presented by Pure Gold. It will be the Now City M Jazz Zenith taking on Families Brand Sardines at Tami Sardines, Zamboanga. And it's great to have you with us here for our second game. Noel Zarate po, wala na po silang malagay. Nilagay na po nila ako dito with Javi Palanya. Sort of a reunion from Subic, Javi. That's right. It's a pleasure to be working you again with Noel on this game. And wow, I'm really excited to get this game going. Well, these are two teams, of course, that want to get into the 500 mark. So let's talk about these two teams. Of course, itong kuponan ng Danao City being led in terms of stats by that man, itong si Felix Apreku. Fantasy stud, as we call him. Yeah, that's right. 7.7 .7 points per game, 12.3 rebounds, and 4 assists per game. But add mo pa dyan yung kanyang contribution on the blocks stat category. But this guy has really been doing it all for Coach Alvin Morante. But uh, and on the other side, Jerry Pingoy has been 
playing well at the point guard spot, 6.7 points per game, 1.3 rebounds per game, 4.3 assists per game. But in that last match against the ICC Blue Hawks, mm -hmm. really did a good job of setting up the table for his team, 8 assists in that game. With zero turnovers, if we may add. Let's talk about that classic. Bob Guerrero called it right. It was a classic game between Danao City at itong kupuna ng AFP, FSD, Makati Cavaliers. That game could have gone either way. And that was perhaps the closest matchup that we've had in the in the tournament so far. That would have been our first game that could have gone into overtime, but that inbound miscue oh. by Donald Kumaru, that five-second violation really turned the tide for AFP, FSD, Makati Cavaliers in that game, and that really sealed the deal for them in that match. Well, I've not seen a game that had actually 21 lead changes and 21 ties. Ganung kadikit yung laban na yon. Now, the thing is, it's a back-to-back. -back. So, the question is, Javi, are they a tired bunch coming into this match? That's right. That will be the question that they will answer coming into this game. Can they bounce back? Because they are definitely raring for a victory here as both uh, these teams are stuck in the 8th and ninth spot. So they want to catch up and get those twice-to-beat advantages in the top four. Let's talk about Atami Sardines, of course, picking up their first victory uh, in their last uh, outing as well. And it was a big one over ICC, 101-74. That was a wire-to-wire -wire game. Yeah, in their first two games, they were struggling to find their offensive ry rhythm. They didn't really know how to set up the table for their teammates. But in this match, 35 assists, 8 of those coming from Jerry Pingoy, as we said earlier, and 5 coming from Aaron Heruta. Definitely a great team effort displayed in that match. Let's see if they can duplicate that against Danau City MJ Zenit in this game. And of course, Chito Jaime was able to wake up 4 three-pointers in that game, and he is going to be speaking with Nadia Miravallas. Thank you, Noel. 14 points versus the ICC Blue Hawks. That was from Atami Sardines, Chito Jaime. Chito, in the last two games, hindi ka masyadong pumupuntos, pero yesterday versus the ICC, finally bumawi ka na. Yes, uh, yun nga. After two games namin, sobrang down ko kasi feeling ko wala ko naitulong sa team. Then, uh, kahapon sa game namin, uh, basta yung mindset ko lang uh, makatulong, uh, makapuntos o so hindi, uh, basta manalo yung team, yun lang nasa mindset. Uh, Chito, after ng two losses nyo, naka-first win na kayo kahapon. Ano na naging effect nun sa'yo personally at sa team nyo? Yun lang, uh, medyo nadagdagay yung kumpiyansa namin pero kailangan pa rin na magtrabaho para makuha ulit yung panalo. And ano lang, tuloy-tuloy uh, lang, uh, maglaro lang kami as a team. Thank you, Chito. Good luck on your game. Back to you, Noel and Javi. Thank you very much, Nats Miravalios. One team will enter the 500 mark. That is for sure. And one team will go to 1 and 3. So, titignan po natin kung ano magiging kapalaran nitong ating laban. It will be Atami Sardines going up against Danau City. And we now send it to Ryan Villena for the introduction of the starters. Lupa Sports Center. This is Phil Basket Summer Championship 2022, presented by Pure Gold. This is the second game of our triple header featuring the now city MJ Zenith and family brand Sardines, Atami Sardines, Zamboanga. Are you ready? Let's meet the starters of the now city MJ Zenith. At point guard, 5'11", from Arellano University, number one, Donald Gumaru. At shooting guard, six foot flat, from St. Clair College, number 20, Jordan Rios. At small forward, standing six foot two, from Adamson University, number 19, Patrick Kabahur. At power forward, six foot four from the University of San Jose Recoletos, number 10, Kevin Villafranca. And at center, six foot three from Coleo de San Juan de Letran, number 40, Felix Apreco. The head coach of the now city is Aldrin Morante. 
And now, the starters of family brand sardines, Atami Sardines Zamboanga. At point guard, 5'11", from Centro Escolar University, number zero, Aaron Ruta. At shooting guard, standing 6'1", from the National University, number two, Gino Mosquero. Small forward, 6'2", from STI, number 17, Chaps Bautista. At power forward, standing 6'4", from AMA Computer University, number 28, Tito Jaime. And at center, 6'3", from the University of the East, number 9, Ari Santos. The head coach of Atami Sardines is Victor Ricasciano. And of course, Victor Ikasiano is not in the building today. It will be Hubert De Los Santos calling the shots para sa upunan ng Atami Sardines. Let's take a look at these starters here, Javi. Cabahog Villafranca joining Apreku in the front court and Donald Gumaro, Jordan Rios rounding up the back court for Coach Aldrin Morante. Samantala sa kabilang panic naman, Japs Bautista and Chito Jaime with Adi Santos, the man in the middle. Aaron Heruta at the point guard spot and Chino Maiskaida rounding out the starters for Coach Hubert De Los Santos. Jordan Rios starting this game in lieu of Brian Ivan Mecca. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe Coach Alvin Morante wants to give a different flavor in this game. Jordan Rios had 10 points off the bench, only out of the 29 bench points that uh, Dano City and Jazenit had in that match. So, wanting to get more production from the bench, itong Dano City. And of course, itong kupuna ng uh, Atami Sardines wanting to build a win streak. Chito Jaime had 14 points in the last game, in and out on his first attempt. And Donald Gumaru, surprisingly, uh, itong uh, starting point guard nila, Javi, only scored one point in the last game. Yeah, this will be a chance for Gumaru to redeem himself after that boo-boo in that last match that was very crucial in that loss against AFP Makati Cavaliers. Another crucial uh, portion of that loss was the Felix Apreco layup attempt towards the end when they were down by three. He was trying to go for two. Gumaru on the fake. He's not going to be able to get that shot off, although it went in. But you like the ball movement here early for the white shirts of Danao City. Yeah, but a little bit too much on that play. And Donald Gumaro not really off to a great start in that redemption ride. But let's see. We are just at the beginning of our game. So much basketball to be played here. Japs Bautista lines up a three. That is a miss. Battle for the rebound. One shot allowed as Villafranca blocks it out of the air. Japs Bautista wanting to pick up where he left off in that game. He led... His team in scoring with 20 points, 4 out of 8 from 3-point country. And that man right there, Patrick Abahog, was the brightest spot for the white shirts yesterday. Well, he killed a lizard just now. And uh, itong si Chito Jaime naman steps out of bounds. So, uh, pa-jab-jab lang itong magkabilang ko pa But no one's connecting at this point. Slow start for both teams. But expect the firepower from these squads to flow as we progress in this match. A nice crossover here by Gumaru, but he also kills a lizard. And into the front court now, the green shirts of Atami Sardines. As we have Bautista now on the drive, Japs on the run. Finally, a basket in this game. Not connecting on his first shot from the outside, opting to put the ball on the floor and get something going in that shaded area. Two points para dito for former STI Olympian. So Japs Bautista with two points and two lizards already killed here para sa kupunan ng Danao City. Here's Cabao. They want to get his guns blazing early. Coming off a 24-point performance in the last game, but he has 0 for 2 to begin this game. Rios, Apreku, Villafranca inside. Still nothing here for the white shirts. Pinipilit talaga. Here's Rios on the fall away. Apreco tracks down the first of his many rebounds. And Felix tries a circus shot and will get to the free throw line. Patrick Abaug not yet connecting yet from the field in this game. He had six quick ones yesterday. And then a big third quarter by him to get his 24 points. But he was held scoreless in that penultimate period. And it was a big reason why they had a hard time pulling out that victory. Now, Felix Apreco didn't do well from the free throw line in the last game. was 3 of 8, and he misses on his first uh, attempt here. Going back to Patrick Cabag, nakita natin dito, ha? itong kupo na ng Danao City, they will not sit until somebody scores. At uh, siyempre si Felix Apreco, may iyan naman sa mga kampi niya. Hindi pa rin! <laughs> <laughs> 
And that ball goes out of bounds. We're going back to Patrick Kabag. Remember the time when we covered him sa Subic uh, during the Phil Basket Subic Championship where he erupted for 31 points and in the next game went for zero. He blows hot and cold. He's a very streaky shooter. So, but whenever he is able to get his rhythm, he is definitely going to get going. But talking about the free throws, Felix Apreco missing two of his charities right there. That really came to bite them in that game yesterday. 21 out of 36 free throws yeah. para dito sa Danao City M Jazz Zenith. Imagine if they made just four more of those, they could have hacked out that victory easily. And of course, Apreco had a couple of free throws there uh, towards the end game. Nice pass inside Chico Jaime, getting his first deuce of the game. Assist to Japs Bautista. And the defense caught napping right there. They thought Japs Bautista was about to rise for that three-point shot, but Chito Jaime was free on that baseline. Excellent recognition by Japs. Yung katanungan nga rito, both teams actually played yesterday, so who is going to be affected more by the fatigue? There is Patrick Abahog. He will definitely be not afraid to hoist up shots. He will keep shooting even if he keeps missing. He will definitely find the bottom of the hole because that is how great of an offensive player Patrick Abahog is. Yeah, the thing is, of course, what is the game plan against Patrick Abahog? He will be a marked man, but not on that occasion. Chito Jaime hit four three-pointers in the last game, and that's his first today. And, of course, we thank Wilson, the official game ball of the 2022 Phil Basket. 7-3 early. Dito sa ating first quarter, 6-35 to go. Apreco isolated. Big sag being given there by Chito Jaime. And Apreco says, I can shoot that. That's not really a shot that he's known for, but that time Felix Apreco able to capitalize on that opportunity. So Apreco finally on the board after missing his first two attempts. So 7-5, Atami Sardines, the drive by Mosqueda, and this kid has been very consistent. Yeah, 11 points in their last game, and that time recognizing the speed advantage and the youth advantage as well over Patrick Abajo, taking him to the hole and scoring on that right-handed oh, layup. <laughs> I'm still young. I can still keep up with these kids. Gumaro in the meantime, still looking for his offense, shadowed by Hiruta, finally getting... A switch, Gumaru, nice shovel pass going inside to Villafranca. That pass coming in the nick of time para dito kay Donald Gumaru. If that had gone just a more later in that mm. opportunity, that would have been a turnover. Two-point lead still being enjoyed by Atami Sardines Zamboanga. Japs, step back, three, short. Apreku wants to continue being the stat stuffer para dito sa Danao City. M. Jess Zenith. A chance to tie or take the lead now for the white shirts. They go to Kabahug. Being watched by Mosqueda. Step back. Kabahug. Ahay! After two misses, Kabahug has hit his last two. That area of the floor was where he did his most damage in yesterday's game. Posting up his defenders even if he was given different looks by the Cavaliers in that game. So our deadlock now is at nine. And we'd like to thank Imedi Shur, our prize money sponsor. Here at the uh, Field Basket Summer Championship, 1 million pesos going to me. No, just to the winner. <laughs> Wild shot that time, and that is going to be either a shot clock violation, and it is a shot clock violation or out of bounds. So, good defense para dito sa kupunan ng Danao Zeni M. Jazz Zenith as we have our first sub. And uh, ito ba si Andretti Stevens? So, make that... Uh, well, there is a sub here. As we take a look at this instant replay brought to us by Smart 5G Simply Smart Ako, Patrick Kabaug, now with five in the game. That's Brian Mecca yeah, Brian Mecca. off the bench. Yeah. Para dito kay Coach Aldrin Morante. And you mentioned earlier, Noel, that defense being holding holding up para dito sa Danao City. But this opportunity not yet capitalized on by Atami Sardine Zamboanga. Coach Aldrin Morante really emphasizing his wards need to defend on that end of the floor, especially yesterday. That was a red pick and roll that time. Villa Franca with an easy one. Nobody home there for the green shirts and an easy layup converted on by Villa Franca. How can you lose somebody who's a six foot four? Chito Jaime! Speaking of six foot four, that's his second three pointer of the game. He is really not hesitating to take those shots. Chito Jaime already looking for his offense. He was scoreless in that game against Berlin, uh, against EOG Sports and against Kuala Lumpur Asil. Only oh. two points, but Quatrick Cabajo continues to wax hot in this game. 13 to 12 is the score. He didn't get the ball Patrick Cabajo when he here. Seesaw game developing here in the first quarter. We have three and a half to play. As we send it now to Najmi Ravalles. 
Thank you, Noel. We were able to talk to Coach Aldrin Morante a while ago of M. Just Zenith. And he's actually in a positive mood today despite their loss yesterday because for him, all they can do now is to move on and focus on today's game. He's confident that his boys are hungry for redemption and is well prepared today. Sa kabilang team naman, Coach Hubert De Los Santos of the Atami Sardines said that they may have won versus the ICC Blue Hawks yesterday, but today's game will be the real test of how capable they really are. Back to you, Kenneth, Noel and Javi. Well, that's Tanda naman natin, ha, na they, these two the, uh, coaches sort of downplaying it, but at the same time, eh, alam naman natin that every win counts, especially in a single round, single uh, elimination dito. And that fall away is going to drop. So I told si uh, Reggie Boy Basibas in the game for the first time. So some bench points now. Para dito sa DMZ, which stands for Danau City, uh, MJS Zenith. Hindi po yan dance group. <laughs> Maagang balasa ng tao here for Coach Aldrin Morante. Not really same rotation that he used yesterday. So trying to go for a different approach in this game. And tama yung sinabi ni Naj, this will be the acid test for families, Brad Sardines, Atami Sardines, Zamboanga. Going up against ICC yesterday, it was a huge victory for them. But going up against a veteran team now in this game will be the real test for them if they could sustain their winning ways. Right now, itong uh, kupunan ng uh, DMZ still up. 10 to 4 in terms of the rebounding edge para dito sa Danao early in this game. Madadagdagan pa yan ng isa if Villafranca can hang on to it. They goes over to Arminion. They uh, bring in their bench already early. Hang time move. Wala naman yan. Good defense that time played. And here comes Jerry Pingoy. Let's call him Coco from now on because that really is his nickname. Yeah, because Jerry Pingoy is his dad. Yeah. A former PBA player. Here's Adi Santos, not Arwin, as we pointed out yesterday. Shot clock winding down. As we thank our friends from Contigo Scoreboard, multi-sports scoring solutions. Less than five to shoot, and there is Coco Pingoy. The three-point party is on for the green shirts here, Javi. That is a shot that he can definitely make, and Coco Pingoy shooting it from the left corner. Only seven points yesterday, but did come up with eight assists. And the most important numbers, I pointed out, zero turnovers. William Franca gets it out. Andre Armenio, no stranger to fill basket uh, competitions as he did play in Subic. And there's another drive. Para naman dito. Okay, Ajay. Bingoy. Pulls it back right now. A minute and 33 remaining here in the first. We have a tight game. Bingoy. Jeff Avillonar seeing his first action of the game. This is a nice matchup between him and Villa Franca. Less than five to shoot. B hit ngayon. That shot went up and it is a miss. And that's going to be uh, the calling card of Jeff Avillonar. Always the guy who crashes the boards and gets to the free throw line. Well, before that foul there on Havillonar, I'd just like to point out that yesterday, the green shirts faced a lot of zone in that mm. game against the ICC Blue Hawks. But right now, Coach Aldrin Morante opting to go for the man-to-man -man defense. And nakikita natin na hihirapan ang green shirts early on in this match. Jeff Avillonar makes his first free throw. Remember, his brother, Mark Avillonar, actually played in field basket uh, last season. So it'll be a family affair. A split there by Avillonar. But that's enough to give Atami Sardines a one-point lead, 16-15, to 15, as we approach the final minute of this first quarter. Arminion gets it outside. Basiba straight away three. And that is tracked down now by Pingoy. Manages to stay in bounds and getting it over now to uh, Troy Ignacio, who is double-teamed. Ignacio in all sorts of trouble, lost the ball. And into the front court, that will be a bump and a foul to stop the fast break. But Brian Mecca, when he gets into the open court, that's the only thing you can do to stop him. And great effort being shown on the defensive end. Para dito kay Mecca. Didn't give up on the play and was managed to get a steal in that sequence. Now that is not yet, uh, that's a foul that is not yet in the penalty for the green shirts. So inbounding now. Oh, Arminion taken away by the referee. <laughs> <laughs> Papasa na sana siyang gulat, but bigla wala na sa kanya yung bola. There's a quick inbounds play, and that will work for Mecca. Mecca really contributing in the past few sequences para dito kay Coach Aldrin Morante. A steal and now an end one opportunity. Choi Ignacio getting left in the shuffle from that double screen on the left block. And able to finish, he now has a chance to make that three points. 
Brian Mecca has been very, very effective, although free throws continues to be uh, the problem. Para di sa kapuna ng Danao City. Pingoy has it now. 46 seconds to go here in the first. Ikot ng bola. Quick release. Ignacio, another three-pointer for Tommy Sardines. It's already the fourth three in the game. 50% from downtown. Itong families, Brad Sardines, Atami Sardines, Zamboanga, and Coco Pingoy pushing the pace here. Look at that. Four on five. Uh, fast break. Another three. Ignacio! Back-to-back -back threes! It has really been great production from the point guard spot. Jerry Pingoy able to find the hot hand. Choi Ignacio, who hit just one three pointer moments ago, able to go back to back on this try. We see that again on this replay. Choi Ignacio, first three pointer. And Jerry Pingoy giving up the pass despite having difficulty handling the ball. Ignacio able to go back to back. Sweet release and a timeout call with only 22 seconds remaining. And the first will be right back. Back with us here. Let's take a look at a pair of locks. Halos pareho ang kanilang stats. Actually, sa field goal lang nagkakalayo. Chino Mosqueda and Choi Ignacio. Boy, these NU guys have been playing very well. 11 points apiece in that game against ICC. And great, great production from the wing spot for Coach Hubert De Los Santos. Oh, and this is coming off an Alvin Morante timeout. And that will be Ajay losing possession. I was one of, that is one of the things na sobrang nakakasakit ng ulo ng mga coaches. Coming off a timeout, you want your teams to convert, especially on the offensive possession. But that time, a turnover given up by the now City. And a chance for Atami Sardine Sambuanga to go for the final shot. They get it out to the hot hand. Ignacio on the drive. Somehow gets it to go. That's and that's going to do it for the points. first half, yeah. Amazing performance coming off the bench para dito kay Choi Ignacio and what a great start for Atami Sardines. They are up by seven heading into the second. Of course, the starters got it off. Of course, two three-pointers got in dito kay Chito Jaime to make it sweet. But of course, may konting palag din itong si Kevin Ray Villafranca and uh, five points para naman dito kay Patrick Cabao get that first quarter. But then Choi Ignacio took over back-to-back -back threes and of course, the final say of quarter number one, also belonging to Atami Sardine. Second quarter when we return. Stay with us. Away from the start of the second quarter, dito po sa Muntilupa Sports Center. We expect to have another full house later on. Kagabi, grabe ang crowd natin. I mean, we must have had at least 30 million people inside this venue. Noel Zarate pa rin po kasama si Javi Palanya. Game 2 of our triple header. Mamaya, maya po, the Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors will be looking for win number one against a smarting uh, Muntilupa Angeles Resort uh, EOG Cooley that absorbed their first loss yesterday, Javi. Not really 30 million people, Noel, but yeah. it certainly felt that way. Three-point field goal story in that first quarter. Only one out of two para dito sa Danao City. But that makes it already the second three-pointer for Danao as Patrick Cabao able to convert. And para naman dito sa panic, Tami Sardine Zamboanga. Five out of nine already in that first quarter. Looking to pile it on from the outside. That got the lead down to four. Inside play, Morido tries to drop it off. And it, he will be called for steps. This man-to-man -man defense really holding up here for the now city. Ang problema lang di sila makashoot on the offensive end. But that time, Patrick Cabahog 
able to hoist it up over the outstretched arms na Atami Sardines ang Buanga defense. It always amazes me how shooters can stay in bounds doon sa napakanipis na area yun in that corner. And the Patrick Abog very good at that. However, an offensive foul will be called now against the now. That's Rivo Sang. Well, a wealth of experience on the side of Kabahog. Here, that charging foul on Reeve Ugsang. Good effort by Choi Ignacio to absorb the contact as he attempts another three, but that's a miss from the right corner. Well, Ignacio is going to have to keep on shooting. It looks like yeah, Hubert De Los Santos has given him the green light. And they still have the lead, but only by four. 24 to 20, just over a minute gone by. Dito po sa ating uh, second quarter. Game number two of our triple header. Here's Kabahog. Former PBA player, former ABL legend, if I may say. And now Mecca. Andre Armenon. Shot clock winding down. It's down to six. Armenon puts it up. And a series of moves uh, to try to get himself free. Well, that's great recognition by Armenon. Seeing that the defense was closing out long on his attempt for that three-point shot. Put the ball on the floor and attacked that middle of the defense. Able to fish for a foul. Two shots at the charity stripe for the former UE Red Warrior. Meantime, more offense coming in as uh, Japs Bautista joined by Chino Mosqueda. As we thank Wilson, the official game ball of the 2022 Phil Basket. Ito Andre Armenon. I remember being very impressed with this young man when he was uh, when we were uh, doing our first tournament in Subic. Very, very heady point guard. That talagang a lot of control. That's right. He was the top point guard for Medical Depot and for Coach Alden Morante in that Subic bubble. All right, now giving more sharing the floor with Donald Gumaru, but still able to contribute para sa kanyang kupunan. And it is now five unanswered points para dito sa kupunan ng Danao City to begin the second quarter. Still no answer coming from Atami Sardines, but they will keep possession. Shot clock did not reset, however. It's seven to shoot. King Destacamento missing on a gimme right there, but they will have another opportunity and a crack at the basket. Mosqueda fields it. Ikot ng bola, Villonar did not shoot it from there. Mosqueda hears the music and dances to the music. Little tinikling there uh -oh. by Chino Mosqueda. Ganda rito, no? Pag alam mo nang malapit nang maubos ang shot clock natin, may music na tutunog. <laughs> yeah. Yung iba napapasayaw. A chance to tie or take the lead. Tanda natin, they were down by seven. The now City was heading into the second quarter. Ogsang finding Armenon, and here's the post now. Para kay Patrick Kabahug. Ah, uh, there's that step back, Kabahug. Almost knocks it in. And that'll be last touch by the green shirts. Let's see if they will talk about this. No, as we send it now to Naj Miravalles. Thank you, Noel. Coach Aldrin told his team a while ago during the huddle na alaga pa sa bola dahil nga daw kanina galing pa lang sa timeout na agawan na sila and Atami was able to make a basket. Every possession counts daw, lalo na in the last few minutes of every quarter. Back to you, Noel and Javi. Now that is, of course, the calling card nito si Aldrin Morante, Naj, na alam naman natin. Being a heady point guard himself, he wants everybody to take care of the ball. They didn't get that done, and Chito Jaime missed the gimme. Sabi ng Atami, teka muna, ang dami nakaputo eh. Labas muna tayo, Bautista doesn't care. Tries to get it over now to Jaime, going for three-pointer number three, and that is three-pointer number three. Gusto niya yata, mas mahirap na tira, and that is exactly what happened right there. Missing that sidestep in transition. But making up for it with shooting a trifecta. You got to remember, this guy used to be a PBA player, and he was known for knocking down those shots. Despite being 6'4", listed as a power forward, here's another former PBA player, Patrick Kabahug. Played with Air 21, but misses that from top of the key. Into the front court, Chino Mosqueda, Jaime. And somebody was faking a foul. That was Chino Mosqueda. A miss from the side. Bautista struggling in this game so far. Here's Cabao feeding Mecca inside. Uh oh, nobody back on defense, but Javillonar could not handle it. Natapik naman papunta rito kay Morido, who takes on everybody wearing white. And it will stay with Atami Sardines. Helter Skelter <laughs> basketball by both teams. And we see here Chino Mosqueda able to give enough defensive pressure for Patrick Cabahog to miss his shot. But that time Cabahog dishing off to his teammate Mecca on the left wing for that easy reverse in transition. And that instant free play is brought to us by Smart Simple. Smart Ako. Timeout, Hubert De Los Santos. Magbabalik po kami.
Balikan po natin ang aksyon dito po sa Muntinlupa Sports Center. Ang init sa labas, pero kagandahan din sa Muntinlupa Sports Center pag mga bandang hapon na Javi, ang sarap na ng breeze na pumapasok galing sa Laguna, Dubai. Look at Patrick Cabaug's numbers in the last game. Pat's flair continues to shine bright. 24 points, 9 of 15 field goals with 2 rebounds, but again, the 3-point shooting was his weapon of choice. But in that game, only one three-pointer for the entire Dano City M just Zenith. And it was Patrick Cabajo who was able to convert on that opportunity for them. So let's see if that will be the case here para dito sa white shirts. They have two already, both owned by Cabajo so far. Daniel De Hoya, who had an amazing plus 20 against ICC, is on the floor for the first time. Former UP fighting Maroon. Shot clock winding down, and that will be a turnover traveling called against Chito Jaime. Well, this guy, Daniel De Hoya, didn't have a chance to strut his wares in the UAAP Seniors Division. And right now, wanting to make a good account of himself at this level, so far he has done that para kay Coach Hubert De Los Santos. And for you old school guys, he is a spitting image of his father. Ito si Maki De Hoya. Phil Basket is brought to us by Celium Fiber, manufactured by Leone Agri Corporation. Entry pass, Kabahog can't get it to go. And there's another whistle to halt play, and we say uh, the referee say go the other way. And Coach Hubert de los Santos making Patrick Kabahog bleed for his points. This time throwing a different body at him in Daniel De Hoya. Well, De Hoya now they swing the ball around trying to get to Chito Jaime. Working against Steven Kodal and Kodal with the uh, steal into the front court now. Andre Armenon up and under move. That is so pretty. You see how he was so much in control yeah. despite two defenders going down in transition. That up and under pretty move by Armenon. Japs Bautista starting to talk to himself already at this point. Have he is struggling in this game? Here's Armenon. Villafranca. Lines up a three. Why not? Kevin Villafranca having a great offensive game today. At 12 points in their game yesterday. And that definitely is one shot that he has in his bag. A stretch five para dito kay Coach Aldrin Morante. How about this? 29-27. Lamang na po ang Danao City. M. Zinit in this game. Here's a chance to take the lead once again. But the struggles continue for Japs was our player of the game yesterday in the win over ICC. And it's a dangerous pass, and that'll go back to the green shirts. Well, despite despite this, these misses, uh, Japs Bautista shouldn't be disconcerted about his play mm. and keep shooting. But alam naman natin, the veteran player that he is, he will definitely continue to find his shot in this match. Kevin Ray Villafranca showing us he, he does have the range. He's not wearing the blonde hair that he wore in Subic now. Here's Jaime. Good challenge that time by Villafranca. And a whistle underneath. Stay right here, sabi ng ating mga referees. Kabahu, could be called for this one or is it Mecca? It is on Brown Mecca. Well, nobody home except for Mecca to challenge for that rebound. Bautista, baseline inbound. They are down by two. At nakanak oh, dito si Adi Santos. Well, he caught Steven Kudal na nakayuko there and went up at the right opportunity, getting that gimme at point blank range. Adi Santos continuing his rampage inside. This is going to be an interesting matchup between these two one and two teams, and I don't think they should be at one and two at this point. Armenon, turnaround is a miss. De Hoya for the rebound, and here comes Atami Sardines once again. De Hoya, last second, dishes it off. Bosqueda, three pointer on its way, too strong. And a lot of contact it continues underneath. You do not want to mess with Steven Kudal because he could pass as a nose tackle in American football. <laughs> Another NFL linebacker. Yeah. Dapat nasa Nueva Ecija siya naglalaro, no? They should trade for him. <laughs> Naligaw ng konti. Uh, 14 to shoot ngayon. Para sa family's brand sardines, sa Tommy Sardines Zamboanga. Bautista. On the drive, tries to dish it off to Santos. Ang ganda ng basa that time. Nick Kabahug. Armenon continues to be the steadying force. And they have a chance to reclaim the lead. Looking for Kabahug in the post. Labas muna rito kay Kudal. Oh, Villafranca this time puts it on the floor. And he is fouled on the ground. Acknowledged by Chito Jaime. Oh, Villafranca trying to go quick on that possession. 
Uh, we would like to thank Cantigo Scoreboard, multi-sports scoring solutions. That is what we are using here. So Phil Basket, the Summer Championship. In fact, we are the first league to be using this technology. So props to everybody there sa Cantigo. Skudal gets it out to Armenion once again. Seeing a lot of burn here in the second. Almost taken away that time by Jaime. And almost a steal by De Hoya. Shot clock winding down. Less than three to shoot. Hindi na makakangat doon. Ito si Villafranca. De Hoya into the front court. Goes to Mosqueda, who seems to be his favorite target, but it is a steal by Armenyon. And they have the numbers three on two going the other way. And airborne layup is good, Brian Mecca. And that is enough for Hubert De Los Santos to burn his second timeout of this first half. And suddenly, etong kuponan ng Danao City up by 229 or 31 to 29 with our pure gold move of the game. Etong si. Brian Mecca, of course, brought to us by Pure Gold. We have a timeout. We'll be right back. And of course, being a commissioner in this league, the founder and president, of course, today is family day for Jai Reyes and his family. Kasi kahapon, tatrabaho siya. But this time, you know, bring the family along. It is a family atmosphere here at the Montilupa Sports Center. Great to have you with us. We wish you were here. If you're actually in the South right now, libre pong admission dito. Yes. You can come in and uh, enjoy the games of the Phil Basket uh, Summer Championship presented by Pure, Pure Gold. Noel Zarate pa rin po kasama si Javi Palanya. We are just right smack in the middle of our triple header. Second quarter action with 3 and 23 remaining. And na, naubusan na ng timeout, I believe, dito. Itong kupuna ng Atami Sardines. They've already used two here in the second quarter because of this wicked run by Danao City. Yeah, and Danao City already zooming to the lead here at this point of our match. And Tama si Noel, if you are in the South, catch the action right here because great game here developing between these two squads. De Hoya, three-pointer, too strong. Villafranca secures. And this is coming off Hubert De Los Santos' last timeout. Di pa rin sila nakagawa. Aaron Hiruta back in the game ngayon. Donald Gumaru facing up against him. Pick provided now by Kevin Villafranca. Villafranca open, three-pointer again. This time it's short. Battle for the loose ball. Picked up once again by Villafranca. Puts it on the floor and stretches it in. And our prize money sponsor is brought to us by Emedishore Pharmacy. One million pesos going to the champion of this tournament. And nobody really stopping Villafranca after he got that offensive rebound. Jaime, biglang nanahimik dito sa ating second quarter. De Hoya still can't score. And another one and done para sa kumpuna ng Atami Sardines Zamboanga. Foul called on De Hoya. Well, Atami Sardines have been getting a few good shots, some quality looks. They just have not been able to get it down into the basket. So maybe they're answering our question, which team will be the first to hit the fatigue mark on a back-to-back? Itong kumpuna ng uh, Atami Sardines had a great first quarter. They were up by seven. But now, suddenly, wala nang bala ang kanilang machine gun. Kudal scores. The now City drawing the defense and dishing it off to their big man, rewarding him for his efforts inside. And suddenly, this is now a six-point lead para sa Danao City MJ Zenith. They move it around now to Jaime, who decides to drive. Floater still not there. Battle for the rebound. Two white shirts contesting. Makukuha naman ulit ngayon itong kuponan ng Atami Sardines Zamboanga. And finally, a basket from Chino Mosqueda. Mosqueda really had to bleed for those points. But Jeske Latan just was overzealous on that challenge. We see that right here. Bangga ng konte and that right floater up and in. I was about to say that Danao City was is benefiting from the tall front line that they have on the floor right now. Steven Kudal playing the five and Kevin Villafranca at the four. Nahihirapan talaga pumunto sa loob itong Atami Sardines Zamwanga. Oh, suddenly a press shown here by Atami Zard Sardines. Naitawid naman yan. The lead is four para dito sa Danao City. 
Amjad Zenith, 35 to 31. A minute and a half remaining in the first half. Gumaru still scoreless. Battle for the rebound. Hindi nagkaamoy yung dalawa nakapute. And this will lead to a Mosqueda attempt. Tapped over to Heruta. And Aaron Heruta cuts the lead down to 2, 35 to 33. They're still in the backcourt. Villafranca. Get a lot of minutes here. Jaskilatan, three pointer. Not there. And Kudal's girth will be called for a foul. Well, Green shirt's lucky that Kilatan was not able to convert on that basket. You saw Jerry Pingoy pointing to Chino Mosqueda to catch the shooter on the left flank. He was late on that opportunity, but luckily, Jess wasn't able to drain that shot. And that foul called on Kudal as he challenged Chito Jaime for that rebound. This is something that you don't want to have Chito Jaime do, shoot free throws, para marikalibrate na naman. I mean, Chito Jaime had three three-pointers, two in the first, and the recalibration is still not working for Chito Jaime. <laughs> Another former AMA player, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. Two misses by Jaime, that's a rarity. Uncharacteristic. Yeah. Kilatan into the front court. Ngayon. Drops it over. Gumaru blocked from behind. Battle for the loose ball. Coco Pingoy into the front court. Two point guard set. Ngayon. Para sa kupunan ng Atami Sardines. Ignacio lets it fly. No. And Kilatan tracks this one down. What a luxury if you're uh, Aldrin Morante to have a talented point guard as, uh, like Kilatan as your third string point guard. Villafranca gets it to go plus the foul. Kevin Villafranca has really taken it upon himself to be aggressive in that mid-post area, especially against Chito Jaime. Now he has an opportunity to get that N1. Not yeah. bothered by the block right there. Of course, the move of the game, uh, move of the game brought to us by Pure Gold. Villafranca completes it. Boy, he's really having a ball here today. What, 10 points already? Five-point lead once again para sa Danao City M Jazz Zenith. There are about a uh, an 11-second or 9-second differential between the clocks. Heruta, Bebuelo, gets it over now to Coco Pingoy for three. No. And the rebound secured by Gumaru, but they have to hurry. Less than 10 seconds remaining. You can hear the music. Gumaru gets it out. Kilatan, three-pointer. That is a miss. Adi Santos can't get it off. And the first 20 minutes of action will end with the now city M Jazz Zenith enjoying a five point lead down by seven at the end of the first 10 minutes of action. And we have a player down. Para dito sa kupunan ng uh, the now city. And everybody's concerned, but looks like, yeah, he's going to be okay. So at the half. It is 38 to 35 in favor of the Now City M Jazinit over Family's Brand Sardines at Tommy Sardines, Zamboanga.
Dear classmates, I congratulate us for having the power. Who would have thought one can major in social media, minor in cartology, or major in mobile legends, minor in insomada baking, or major in TikTok, minor in anime studies. Toto O oh, and Cheese Miss, we really can do it all. And since we still have loads to discover, it is time to get giga powered with Smart Giga Power. Enjoy 20 gigabytes for all sites and apps for only 149 pesos, so we can jump from app to app, passion to passion, chica to chica. Para more, more, more ang saya. Get giga powered na day. My apologies. Download the Giga Life app and choose Giga Power. Simple, smart to code. Dear classmates, I congratulate us for having the power. Who would have thought one can major in social media, minor in cartology, or major in mobile legends, minor in insomada baking, or major in TikTok, minor in anime studies. Toto O oh, and Cheese Miss, we really can do it all. And since we still have loads to discover, it is time to get giga powered with Smart Giga Power. Enjoy 20 gigabytes for all sites and apps for only 149 pesos, so we can jump from app to app, passion to passion, chica to chica. Para more, more, more ang saya. Get giga powered na day. <clears throat> My apologies. Download the Giga Life app and choose Giga Power. Simple, smart to code. in my house. in my
Dear classmates, I congratulate us for having the power. Who would have thought one can major in social media, minor in cartology, or major in mobile legends, minor in insomata baking, or major in TikTok, minor in anime studies. Toto O oh, and Cheese Miss, we really can do it all. And since we still have loads to discover, it is time to get giga powered with Smart Giga Power. Enjoy 20 gigabytes for all sites and apps for only 149 pesos, so we can jump from app to app, passion to passion, chica to chica. Para more, more, more ang saya. Get giga powered na day. <clears throat> My apologies. Download the Giga Life app and choose Giga Power. Simply smart to code. Back with us here at the Montilupa Sports Center at the half of our second game. Ito ko po na ng Danao City leading 38-33 to against the Tami Sardines. Noel Zarate pa rin po kasama si Javi Palanya. Let's take a look at some of the action that happened in that first half. Choi Ignacio able to do damage in the scoring department para dito kay Coach Hubert De Los Santos. He had two three-pointers in that first quarter but was unable to do some of that damage in the second Samantalang ito si Chito Jaime connecting on one of the three pointers for that for uh, Tammy Sardine Zamboanga Patrick Abaug able to find Brian Ivan Mecca in transition, but Kevin Villafranca making a good account of himself in this game already 12 points in this match to lead all scorers. Let's take a look at those numbers from that first half. The first quarter belonged to Tammy Sardines, but the second quarter to the now. That's right, and we look at the three point shooting here. We see that. Atami Sardine Zamboanga is leading in that department, 6 out of 19. They had 5 out of 9 in the first quarter, but in the second, the Now City MJ Zenit's defense really held up, especially from that distance. Only 1 out of 10 on green shirts in that quarter. 3 steals already for the white shirts in this game, and inside points being dominated here by the Now City MJ Zenit. Uh, credit, of course, goes to Kevin Ray Villafranca, who is among the leading scorers para dito sa kupunan ng Danao City. 12 points to lead everybody here. Patrick Abaug amply helping him with 10. And Brian Ivan Mecca with 6. Andre Armenion, who has been a steadying presence in this match with 4. Sa kabilang panig daman, it is Chito Jaime with 11. Choi Ignacio with 8. Chino Mosqueda with 4. And Jerry Pingoy with 3 points. And that's already 10 bench points para di sa kuponan ng Danao City. They only had 29 against a team that's not known for their bench. Itong kuponan ng AFP uh, FSD Makati Cavalier. So what is this an exposure now? na mahina pala yung bench nito ng Danao City or did they just have an off game? Well, definitely Coach Aldrin Morante going with a different approach in this match. Recognizing siguro that stat from the previous match yesterday and right now going for a different flavor and so far it has been working for his squad in this game. Well, third quarter is about to get underway. Pwede pa po kayo pumunta rito if you are in the south. We'll actually stay here at the Muntilupa Sports uh, Center until next week, April 14. Tapos lipat ulit tayo sa north naman. Pabor na naman sa mga taga San Jose del Monte, Bulacan. And I'm excited for Sunday because we will have our very first quadruple header. And Javi Palanya will be working the games there while I will be in Boracay probably. <laughs> well, already. that will be an exciting set of games once again. And a treat for all our basketball fans. Sunday, fun day yun. And the Reyes family taking it all in as well. Dito sa Muntilupa Sports Center. Bring your kids. Ang dami nagbebenta sa labas na. Tikman mo na ba yung fruit shake nila? Meron pala sa nagbebenta labas. sa labas? Exactly. Yung fruit shake nila sobrang panalo. And uh, of course, that credit goes to the uh, city government of Muntilupa 
for helping all of these people with their livelihood. Uh, and they are all outside. That's uh, really parang, uh, sabi natin, parang may circus din sa labas eh, with all of the food choices that you have here. Third quarter underway ngayon. And here is Jeff Avillonar going to Japs Bautista. Struggled mightily in that first quarter, but this time with a drop pass to Andy Santos. Perfect pass at the perfect moment para kay Japs Bautista. Still putting the ball on the floor, not attempting anything from the outside to begin our match. Finding Adi Santos in prime position for that easy deuce. Here's Villafranca now being hounded by the smaller Jeff Avillonar. Kabahug has Mosqueda on him, can't shoot. Ikot ng bola ngayon, less than five on the shot clock. Gumaru hears the music. And Gumaru, for the second time today, had the ball in his hands as the shot clock expires. I've really been looking for him to have his redemption ride in this match as we see Japs Bautista with that gorgeous last-minute drop-off to his big man, Adi Santos, for, the in for those inside points. But again, going back to Donald Gumaru, this was supposed to be a game that he could bounce back from, mm. especially after that big mistake that he had, that five-second violation against AFP Makati Cavaliers. Only one point in that game, as we mentioned earlier. Parang Gumaru lost the ball. Heruta can't get it to go. Another rebound here for Adi Santos. That's what he does best, collect offensive rebounds. Bautista, makikiraan sana, pero tumapak naman sa labas. So, lalabas, babalik dito sa kumpunan ng Danao City. Running out of real estate there was Japs Bautista. And the defense of M. Zenith in this game, really very aggressive. You also got to give credit to the defense of Aaron Hiruta. He's probably one of the most underrated defensive players dito sa ating field basket out of Central Scholar University. Now picking up Patrick Cabau, one of the best scorers in field basket. Cabau firing over Heruta and he gets it to go. I am just amazed and mesmerized at how Patrick Abahog has been able to drain those difficult shots throughout the entire course of his career. And he has been continuing to do it even to this day. Alam mo, kahit nasa Adamson, siya napapansin din namin that he doesn't sometimes even look at the ring. He just releases <laughs> and it goes in. Lang, ano? Exactly. So unproductive there for Atami Sardines. Gumaru still scoreless and Apreku. Looks like a double foul is going to be called between Apreku and Adi Santos. As you mentioned earlier, Gumaru only with one point as we look at this gorgeous shot. The defense all over him. Aaron Heruta with a hand up in his face as Patrick Abaug able to knock down that jumper despite the heavy D. So there is a double foul called and we have seen a lot of double fouls so far. Dito sa ating torneo, and it's between two very aggressive young men, Felix Apreco at ito si Adi Santos. That's a great matchup in the front line. Oh! oh Bautista caught napping on the defensive end, and Brian Mecca recognizing that opportunity cuts inside for an easy basket. This is now a seven point lead para sa Danao City. They were down by seven at the end of 10 minutes. Here's Mosqueda. Bautista has to get something going, and finally something drops for Japs Bautista. Well, if the now has Patrick Abahug, Atami Sardin Zamboanga has Japs Bautista, he will not be afraid to hoist it from up there. Here's Villafranca, a lot of minutes being played now. Gumaru with the up and under, and the struggles continue for Gumaru, but he gets an offensive rebound. Reset, but not for long. Shot clock now at eight. Gumaru wants to run the pick and roll with Apreco, keeps it himself off the glass, wala pa rin. Apreco, another offensive rebound, but Apreco is also struggling from the field. And there is a foul in the backcourt against the White Shirts. Gumaru is now zero out of six in this game. And I'm sure very frustrated with his play as Coach Aldrin Morante plucks Andre Armenion from off the bench. Well, Naj Miravalles, there was an incident at halftime involving Jordan Rios. Ano meron? Ah, uh, nga, ano, kanina nagpunta tayo kung nasan si Jordan Rios at ang daming ang dugo. According to the medical personnel, hindi naman daw ganun kalalim and kinailangan lang nila lagyan ng benda dahil nga nasugat ang kanyang forehead dahil nung nagpumasok daw siya nung rebound, natamaan siya ni Chito Jaime. Back to you, Noel and Abby. Yes, and there was a lot of blood. Maraming salamat, Nadja. There was a lot of blood. Kumbaga, parang boxing ang napanood natin. There was an accident, of course. 
Three-pointer does not work. Villafranca secures it. Let's see if we can get Jordan Rios back in the game. He does have a big bandage on his forehead. Bralmeca. No. Apreku. Too many green shirts. Here comes Heruta. Into the front court. Aaron's pass batted away by Andre Armenon. I would have loved for Heruta to pass it to the left. The streaking Adi Santos, who was free momentarily. Uh, there's Jordan Rios. And that is a really big bandage. So, what is the libre headband? Pagatapos nun. I would like to thank, I uh, would like to greet everybody who's watching us right now live on Facebook, YouTube, Kumu, and TikTok, and of course on the delayed telecast on Solar Sports. But I'm salamat po sa inyong pagtakilik dito sa ating Phil Basket Summer Championship. Noel Zarate with Javi Palanya working the second game here today. Floater off the glass, Chino Mosqueda. In a rare second chance opportunity and second serving as Chino Mosqueda able to get that banker inside to fall. Here's Armenion. And that's going to be a bump. No, well, I'm praying that time. It was Jeff Avillonar. That's a nice, a nice thing, also. Throughout the career of Jeff Avillonar, very, very uh, physical player, but hardly gets into foul trouble. Yeah, he's very intelligent as a defensive player, knows when to use his aggressiveness to stop the opposing team's offensive players, especially in the front court. Jeff Avillonar hacking out a great career. Here's a drive, Andre Armenion under the defense that time, Javi. But that time, no interior presence to bother that shot. Ito ni Andre Armenion. Almost a steal, Bautista straight away, that's a long two. Japs Bautista catching Mecca on his number as he went for the gamble and made him pay on that opportunity. Two-pointer right there para dito kay Japs Bautista. Oh, tat, uh, tatahitahimik lang ito katami sardines, but they're only down by two from a high of seven. Kabahug, difficult three, and there's another whistle. And let's see where this one goes. Oh, they call it on Apreku. Intense battle for the rebounds between Apreku and Adi Santos. No one wanting to give up any inch of space. You see there, trying to box out each other. But that time, Adi Santos getting the better of that matchup. That's a really nice matchup, by the way. Pagdating sa kiskisan sa loob. Heruta. Get it out now to Mosqueda. Shot clock at 10. Jaime puts it on the floor. And a whistle. Well, that time they ran a pick and pop for Chito Jaime, who opts to drive to the basket, fishing for a foul or at that, on that opposition. So that will be the foul on Kabaug as Phil Basket is brought to us by Celium Fiber Manufactured oh. by Leone Agri Corporation. What a play! Once again here, Japs Bautista starting to become a factor here in the third, Javi. Yeah, that's right. A little bit of street ball flavor being injected into this match, bouncing it off Felix Aprecu's back. I believe this is a 7-0 run, all from Japs Bautista. And he comes away with a steal. So it's not how you drive, it's how you arrive. Para dito kay Japs Bautista, who is really pouring it on here in the third. Mosqueda asking for the pick. And he'll drop it off. They get it out to Chito Jaime. Everything but the basket that time for Atami Sardines. Mosqueda already had a shot, that little floater, but opting to give the extra pass. Oh, oh. Brian Mecca wants that one back. Tied at 44 in this game. A zipper play here called by Hiruta. They're going to get it inside. Adi Santos with the left hand. The green shirts already starting to get a rhythm offensively here. And then now City looking a bit gassed at this point. 11 to 2 run now. Para dito sa kuponan ng uh, Atami Sardines. Wilson is the official game ball of the 2022 Phil Basket. 11 to 2 ongoing. Spin move. Kabaho. He was the only one to score in that run. And he ends it. He bookends it with that layup. Veteran move right there at the post. Catching Chito Mosqueda going for his left side. And Patrick Kabao spinning to the right into the baseline. Another tie at 46. Blind pass and uh, Japs Bautista looking for a foul. Kabahug getting it now to Apreco. Sees the baseline. Nakiraan Armenon seeing if his feet are behind the line. Instead, he will be called for too many dribbles or dribbling violation. 
but he wanted to go for the shot. He was momentarily open. As we see here, this post spin against Chino Mosqueda, Patrick Cabahog able to lay it up and in with a right. That's like a Junmar Fajardo move from Patrick Cabahog with that move presented to us by, move of the game presented to us by Pure Gold. Three pointers a miss, Bautista tracks it down, gets it to Jaime. They still have time on the shot clock. Now five seconds to shoot. Mosqueda, Pingoy in the game. Bautista feeling it here in the third. Jerry Pingoy recognizing that his shooter was open on the left corner. He had a shot of his own, but he knew that Japs Bautista has been having the hot hand in this quarter. Good pass there by Jerry Pingoy. And let's take a look at that instant replay brought to us by a Smart Simple, Smart Ako. That was a line drive three-pointer. Ten points already in the third para dito kay Japs Bautista. Yeah, that's right. And Steven Kudal late on that closeout. All he needs is a little bit of daylight talking about Japs Bautista. Atami Sardines. Now we have a tie game. Well, you mentioned to me earlier, Noel, that this would be a blowout for Danao City. But right now, both teams really going at it. And I really predicted that it would go this way. And yeah. no surprises with this type of action. Because both teams really don't want to get caught up in those lower seeds. As they both want to catch up for the twice-to-beat advantages in the top four. Boscada will manufacture free throws. The foul will go on Reggie Boy Basibas, who has lost some playing time here today. Well, a big part in that has been the stellar play of Kevin Villafranca. Yeah. Basibas has been playing a lot of the four spot instead of the three for Coach Aldrin Morante. But this time, he is now at that wing spot. Let's see how this tall front line yes. will work to their advantage at this point of our match. Well, Mosqueda makes the first. And talking about the front line, itong white shirts, itong Ada. Now you have a 264 guys, 163. Cabajo got 62, who's playing two guard right now. And then. Arbignon is about, what, 5'11". So it is a very tall lineup. But now, can they beat the press? It's a 2-2-1. Cabahu does not wait for rebounders. And a save by Pingoy going over to Jaime. There's a fast break opportunity now for Atami Sardin Zamboanga. And that is tipped in by Chito Jaime. Chito Jaime not giving up on the play. Still going back to the basket and oh. able to tip it in. But... There will be somebody on the yeah, floor. Yeah, that is Kudal giving a hard pick that was illegal as we thank our prize money sponsor, a MediSure Pharmacy. One million pesos going to the champion. Well, in, M in, M in NFL, that would have been a legal tackle. Yeah, uh, that's, that's <laughs> right. But uh, we're not on the pitch right now. So, itong kuponan ng... Uh, but Stephen Kudal, you know, he could have an alternate career in special teams. <laughs> You know, trying to block the kicker or something like that. Coco Pingoy, Choi Ignacio, ignited in that uh, second quarter. Let's see if he can take the place of Japs Bautista, who's resting right now. And somebody tried to fight a pick. And uh, ito si Villafranca, I believe itong si Pingoy is giving up at least six inches. Yeah, about that number. Oh, it looks like Pingoy is... <laughs> yeah, they're going to review that last, uh, that last contact that... They missed the Chito Jaime elbow on Jordan Rios. They don't want that to happen anymore here in the third. Well, because Danao City is already above the limit, that will be two free throws by Jerry Pingoy. So yeah. it is just a regular foul on Villafranca, but the bad news is free throws are still coming up for Coco Pingoy. I mean, what a roller coaster of a career for this young man, probably the best high school player of his generation, but then uh, ended up having a bit of a uh, struggle in college. And if he can make Phil Basket his personal playground, boy, will this help his career. And it's really amazing for him to be back on the floor. After being drafted in the PBA by Phoenix, not getting signed, but here having an opportunity to strut his wares. Three-pointer on its way. Basiba's not there. Pingoy. Another rebound and another foul on Villafranca. And another hit to the head. <laughs> it's like Kevin Villafranca giving a lot of tough love to his fellow Cebuano. So more free throws coming up for Coco Pingoy. 
As Jeske Latan is going to check back in for Andre Armignon. And these free throws might just help the offensive game of Jerry Pingoy going. Well, they are up by six. Tandaan natin, they were down by seven just a few moments ago. So what a run here in the third quarter para dito sa Atami Sardines Zamboanga. But as we say that, Pingoy misses the front end of two. Salamat sa Cantigo Scoreboard Multisports Scoring Solutions. A split para dito kay Pingoy. And here's that 2-2-1 two -one once again. Hilatan having a difficult time. He's still in the backcourt. Needs to hoist it into the front court. Not in time. Great defense by the Green Shirts. You know, in our high school days, that was really something we prided ourselves on. Uh -huh. Sobrang nahihirapan talaga ang mga opposing teams to cross the backcourt, the, the half-court line, I mean, against guys like Jerry Pingoy, Joel Liu, and myself, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so you were the one in the 2-2-1, two -two Tama ba? Yeah. Huh? No, no, no. I was part of the two in ah, front. Ah, okay. That uh, remains, uh, that to cease to believe, actually. <laughs> Adi Santos again inside. So, ito na pinamalaking abante ng uh, Atami Sardines Zamboanga in this match. 58 to 49. Kabahug has to bleed for his points. Kabahug against two puts it up almost. And it looks like a little fatigue setting in already for Danao City at this point of our match. The intensity of the defense nitong uh, Atami Sardines Zamwanga really holding up and making it hard for the white shirts to go for quality shots. Well, Kabao being the veteran that he is, is able to get to the free throw line. Aaron Heruta also back in the game. And there is Aldrin Morante again in his days as uh, the San Sebastian point guard was almost unstoppable. That went on to play in the NBA for the Pampanga Stars. Went on to coaching not long after that. Of course, we did see him in Subic last year with Medical Depot. So 58-50. Ang ating score ngayon. Mosqueda whips it over now to Jaime who drives. Chito Jaime gets it to go plus the foul. Lang mamama na ang dating PBA player po na si Chito Jaime. Seeing that Steven Kudal was the one who closed out on him, went for the drive into the middle. And Steven Kudal didn't really have a case right there with our officials because there was an obvious tap on the shoulder. Well, third quarter pa lang, goodbye na itong si Steven Kudal. He is out for, with five fouls. Apreku comes in. Jaime continues his brilliance on offense in this game. That's now 14 points para dito kay Chito Jaime. Final seconds of the third. Kabaho gets a pick. Kabaho against two green shirts. Wala. And the rebound, Adi Santos, they won't get this off. Sabi ni Aaron Hiruta. Let's take this 11-point lead into the final 10 minutes of action. It is Atami Sardine, 61, 50. Para naman dito sa Danao City, M. Jazz Zenith. There's still a lot of time for Danao City to make a run, but they had better begin at the uh, start of the fourth quarter. What a third quarter it was as well. Itong kupuna ng Danao opened up a lead of as much as seven points. They were in the lead until a certain point. But ito sila Patrick Kabag were able to still hold off the offense. Itong kupuna na what about this one? This was the knockout play na ginawa nitong si Japs Bautista and he played a starring role in the third. It is an 11-point lead for Atami Sardines. Japs Bautista back on the floor to begin the fourth quarter. 
As ituko po na ng family's brand sardines at Tommy Sardines Zamboanga has an 11-point lead heading in to the payoff quarter. 61 to 50. Noel Zarate pa rin po kasama si Javi Palanya with Naj Miravalles. I keep on forgetting Naj who has been really uh, spectacular so far as we take a look at the scoring by quarters. Look at that. 28 points in that third quarter para sa Tami Sardine Zamboanga and only 12 for Danao City M. Zinit. Their offense really faltering in that period. And again, the question I posed here, Javi, these two teams played yesterday. Which team will suffer fatigue first? And it looks like it's already sinking in for the white shirts unless something happens here at the start of our penultimate period. Now they have three starters on the floor. And again, Coach Aldrin Morante relying very heavily on his starters. Basiba's not one of them, though. But Reggie Boy Basibas, boy, has he struggled today. Oh, yeah, definitely. And he has also struggled in that last game. He played 18 minutes, but only six points to his name. And still has not yet got it going para kay Coach Aldrin Morante in this game. Kabauga on the inbound. Villafranca shut down in that third quarter after a spectacular second quarter. Kabahug, short. And the rebound picked up by Heruta. Immediately running. Heruta to Adi Santos. At ito na naman yung uh, matchup nila ni Apreco. Another foul on Felix. Well, Noel, looks like your prediction is holding up. It, kaya lang, it was the opposite yeah, of it. Yeah. At Hami Sardines. It's Zamboanga. always going to be because which team will get fatigued first because of yesterday. This is the first time we're having back-to-back -back, uh, days. Eh? That's right. And also contrasting wins for both teams. It was a rather easier W para dito sa Atami Sardines ng Buanga. Samantalang, Yung game kahapon ng Danao City MJ Ay, wow. was really down the wire <laughs> and really was exciting until the very end and they really had to bleed for that victory. Unfortunately, they were not able to get it. Well, Phil Basket is brought to us by Celium Fiber, manufactured by Leone Agri Corporation. And this pressure defense once again. Medyo nagiging light pressure na, but it still sort of throws the timing of Danao City off. It definitely is delaying their offense. Pasibas now working the left side. Coming off the pick, ito si Kilatan. Step back three, Jess Kilatan airballed that one. And the, and the woes continue here para sa Danao City. Everybody is struggling for Coach Aldrin Morante. Nobody yet able to manufacture a point. Aaron Heruta. Japs Bautista took a break towards the end of that third quarter. Choi Ignacio. Jeff Havillonar, once again, great motion offense being shown here. Havillonar left open for three. Yes! They're really making the defense work, rotate, help. And that's have been tiring for the Danao City M. Just Senate defense. Largest lead now at 15. And uh, Tungko po na ng Danao City has not yet scored here. In the third, almost two minutes gone by. Kabahug forces one up again. And this will be... White ball, sabi ng ating mga referees as Donald Gumaru checks back in. And not much movement on the offensive end para dito sa white shirts as we look at this great handoff by Japs Bautista recognizing that Havillonar was open from straight away. That is a shot that Jeff Havillonar has developed over the years. Kabahog escapes and finally a, a basket para dito sa Danao City. Houdini act there by Patrick Kabahog. First points in the fourth quarter for his team. Well, we send it now to Naj Benavalles. Go ahead, Naj. Thank you, Noel. Maging mas aggressive pa sa depensa. That was, that was Coach Aldrin of Danao City. That was what he told his players. Pag nag-focus daw sila sa depensa, mas makaka-convert sila sa opensa. Back to you, Noel and Javi. Well, easier said than done, Naj, because they are allowing a lot of easy baskets para din sa kuponan ng uh, Atami Sardine Zamboanga. And I'm looking at the reactions of the players' faces here on the floor for Danao City. They look gas, Noel. Yeah. Well, of course, ito si Kabaho. Uh, well, earlier, Kevin Villafranca was still on the floor. They have seen a lot of minutes. But they're still not getting the usual production para dito kay Donald Gumaro. As we thank our friends from Wilson, the official game ball of the 2022 Phil Basket. 22 minutes yesterday in a minus nine. Uh-huh. Para kay Donald Gumaro. Basibas. Finally! Well, let's see if that basket can light a fire from underneath his team. 
Now is the pressure going the other way. Para naman din sa kuponan ng Danao. Heruta, one of the best at breaking that by himself. Bautista ngayon. Decides to drive. Japs off the glass. Good! Parang diesel si Bautista ngayon. Second half, Bokya. Pero din sa second, uh, first half rather, Bokya. Second half, he is just storming. Already 14 points in this game. All in the second half for Japs. Nice fake, reverse layup, and Basibas now with back-to-back -back baskets. Let's see if Tanao can be able to get some stops here, string a number of defensive possessions in their favor. Kanina pa tumatawag si Ruta ng zipper play, nata-traffic pa natin yung kakampi niya, and that's a lot of physicality between Aquilatan at itong si Aaron Hiruta. And you don't want to mess with Aaron Hiruta in terms of physicality, <laughs> let me tell you that. I've been covering this guy for a lot of years already, even since his time with CEU over with uh, sa Cafe France in the PBA D-League. And now here, he won't back down from anybody. It looks like there could be a technical foul here somewhere, Javi. Uh, Coach Aldrin Morante is at the scorer's table and pleading for something. Yeah, Coach Aldrin very rarely gets emotional and he'll get a... Yeah, he'll get away with a, with a warning because he's Aldrin Morante. He's not known for shenanigans. So he's still there. Nasa front court na siya. Uh, let's see that last play. And then ang nirereklamo niya rito. I mean, it was a physical matchup. Pero natawagan nga doon. Ito si Kilatan. Uh-oh. Diving for the ball, it's still loose. Gumaru on the ground, gets it. Gets it over now to Felis. Apreko over now to Kilatan. And he still can't score. What a sorry miss right there for Jess Kilatan. And that was a three-on-one break. Yan ang tinatawag na inaalat. Bautista wants to slow things down. They do have an 11-point lead. Bingoy, crossover. Wide open, Mosqueda. Wala. And the Preku and Santos again. <laughs> you know, two guys with great noses for the ball colliding. That's always entertaining. Oh, we're gonna sure. have yeah, we're gonna have a timeout here called. And it is still an eleven point lead. Para dito sa kupuna ng Atami Sardines Zamboanga, sixty seven to fifty six against Danao City. We'll step away. Back in a moment. Back with us here at the Muntinlupa Sports Center. This place is slowly filling up, meaning yung aircon mamaya hindi nakakayanin yung crowd <laughs> in anticipation of our third game, which will feature the home team, the Muntinlupa Angeles Resort. EOG Cooley taking on the winless Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors, and Basibas continues his aggression. Adi Santos called for the foul. And Basibas taking it upon himself to carry his squad back into contention sa ating laro. Still a lot of basketball to be played here. 5 minutes and 14 left on our game clock. And Reggie Boy Basibas knocks down the first of his two charities. And that 0-5 number has always baffled me. Yeah, it's really weird to have that kind of number in basketball. I'd like to thank our friends from eMedisure, our prize money sponsor. Brought to us by eMedisure Pharmacy. 1 million pesos going to the champion. Eh, kasi kung may 0-0 din naman, maybe 0-5 pwede rin, di ba? That's usually a number you use in American football, right? Actually, uh, wala eh. Kahit 0-5, wala talaga eh. Ngayon lang ako nakakita ng 0-5 talaga. 
Although sa liga namin dati may numero 99.5. <laughs> Wala pa ako nakikita ganun talaga. Hindi <laughs> naman na siguro yun allowed in FIBA rules. I, I would think so. <laughs> Although, pwede mong sabihin, wala namang sinabi sa rulebook na walang decimal. Oh, pwede, di ba? There's a, but the 0-5 from Basibas. Let's hope it's not 0-5 because that's how we started this game. <laughs> yeah, but uh, he has been making some of his baskets the past few possessions. Pingoy, quick release, Mosqueda. And Apreku holds down another one. Kilatan into the front court, read well by Gito Jaime. So the speed is still there. For the veteran, Chito Jaime. Ill-advised pass, I might say, for Jeske Latan, but because that was really telegraphed by Chito Jaime, but na lang, he didn't end up with a steal on that opportunity, and possession stays with Danao City. A chance to cut it down even further. It's down to nine. Apreku jumps it out. Basibas inside again to Apreku. Oh! Yan na naman, tutukan. Nawala na naman. Ika nga ni Tikboy, Salty. This could have been easily a five-point spread na lang para dito sa Danao City. A miss by Jeske Latan and another point-blank one by Felix Apreku. Pingoy wants to take on Apreku one-on-one. Decides to give it off to Chito Jaime! And Jerry Pingoy with another brilliant all-around game. Numbers across the board. Six points, six rebounds, sorry, five rebounds and four assists for the former Adamson Falcon. Fall away. And the saltiness has now rubbed off to uh, Patrick Cabahu. Damatic boy, salty, diba? Okay, <laughs> salty daw. Cabahu goes down holding his knee. Pero opensa ngayon ng Atami Sardine Zamboanga. Apreku taps it out and now Cabahu can flex that knee. Not Dulas. A slick portion on the floor and the Patrick Cabahu looks shaken up. He looks to be okay, telling Coach Aldrin Morante, showing the, thump, the thumbs up. Yeah, pero yung una lumapit sa kanya si Coach Hubert de Los Santos. We're all friends here. So it looks like Cabahog is gonna walk it off. So 70 to 58 ang ating score. More housekeeping going on ngayon. So time down to four minutes and ten remaining. Uh oh, Jaime left open again. Chito Jaime again. He checked, still hot. Chito Jaime with another three-point basket. Twenty-two points for the former AMA Titan. And another miss by Kilatan. However, saved by Apreku. Lalabas dito ngayon kay Gumaru. Kilatan, Gumaru. Less than five to shoot, and Donald continues to struggle. He's now zero out of seven. Yeah, that's exactly his shooting from yesterday. Zero out of seven din siya nun. Heruta, Pingoy, they know they have time on their side, up by 15. Oh, that's going to be an offensive foul. Chito Jaime got caught on the cross check. That's a hockey move. <laughs> Well, that's one thing that Coach Hubert De Los Santos can forgive. They are, after all, up by mm. 15 points. And a lot of that damage was given by Chito Jaime, especially from distance. Mukhang na-damage yung balikat doon, itong si Jess Kilatan. Again, Chito Jaime, not a good uh, opening or first two games para sa kanya. But today and yesterday, doing pretty well. Kilatan lost the ball. And everybody is just in shackles here for the now city. And it is Atami Sardin Zamboanga suing for time. 73 to 58 ang ating score. Magbabalik po kami.
take a look at this. Chito Jaime, you know, he was awakened in the last game. 14 points, four three-pointers done, but he has exceeded that today. That's right. He already is a plus eight from that game. Already 22 points para kay Chito Jaime sa ating laro. Also played last year in the field basket for the Davao Tigers. But that team was loaded, was he? He was for M-Trans. Ah, M-Trans. I, I stand corrected. That team, M-Trans, was loaded with like, what, seven XPBA players on that team. So I stand corrected. Thank you for a better memory <laughs> from Javi Palanya. Because all I remember from Subic was the food. <laughs> it's a great experience, though. 29 days in Subic. What else could you ask for? Jaime. Mosqueda, running hook. Santos, they can still beat this. Heruta, front rims that one. 2 and 43 remaining in regulation. It's starting to look good now for Atami Sardine Zamboaga trying to pick up their first win streak in Phil Basket. Gumaru. Still nothing but Mecca at the right place at the right time. Isa pa yan, Ralph Mecca, we didn't see much of Ralph Mecca in the second half. We didn't see Jordan Rios at all because of that uh, injury sa kanyang ulo. And I'm sure he's very frustrated sitting on the bench right now, knowing that he could be able to contribute for his team that now that they are down by 13 points. Jaime on the drive, off the glass, no. Basibas and Santos. Last touch now si Santos. Improved shooting from the outside here for Danao City in this game compared to just one conversion in yesterday's game, but still not a good percentage. Four out of 17, that's 23% compared to the performance from Rainbow Distance. Nitong Atami Sardines, Zamboanga, 11 out of 31 for 35%. Last two minutes, last two minutes. Oh, last two minutes na po tayo dito. And the last two minutes is brought to us by Smart Simple, Smart Ako. Kabahog. Lone source of income. And he's going to get his regular numbers here, Pero This could be in a loss unless some, something miraculous happens here in the final 143. Pingoy seeing a lot of burn in the fourth quarter as the stabilizer, no less. Para dito ay Coach Hubert De Los Santos as Bautista lost it. And to the front court, a steal by Adi Santos. Pingoy will work some clock. 73-62. And as we wind down our game clock, the outcome looking very bleak here for the white shirts. Final seconds of the shot clock. Jaime, yes! That just might be the dagger here, ladies and gentlemen. And a timeout called by Danao City. Let's take a look at this instant replay brought to us by Smart. Simple, Smart Ako, and what a smart shot there for Chito Jaime. 25 in the game, and we have this timeout. We'll be back. Mr. Sam Lato, the owner of Danao City, is hoping and praying that some miracle happens with a minute and seven remaining dito sa ating uh, laban. As itong kupuna ng Atami, Sardine Zamboanga has opened up a 14-point lead. Mathematically possible, but sort of improbable. Let's see what the white shirts can do. And despite the face mask, I'm sure Coach Aldrin Morante is not smiling underneath that. Apreku scores. They need a few stops. 55 seconds remaining. Still in the backcourt. Pingoy trying uh, to escape Apreku. Pingoy, very adept ball handler. Kirap Agawan. 
That guy doesn't get pressured at all. Yeah. And oh, look at this. Good challenge that time. Yet. And goes out of bounds last touch, Adi Santos. So 31.1. Actually, nagawa nila yung gusto nila mangyari doon was to eat up as much time off the game clock. With 31.1 seconds remaining, Coach Alvin Morantes still not giving up the ship. As the now city will use this timeout. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, the home team will be rejoicing once again. But can it be a bounce-back game? Para din sa kuponan ng Muntinlupa Angeles Resort EOG Cooley as we have a collision between Apreco at itong si uh, Aaron Heruta. And uh, of course, Muntinlupa will be taking on the Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors in just a few moments at the conclusion of this game. Of course, we will select our pure gold player of the game. So many players to choose from. It was actually a team effort. Para din sa kumpuna ng atami sardines sa Buanga. Back-to-back wins. Uh, impending now, Javi. That's right. First winning streak of the tournament. And this will definitely work wonders for their confidence as they go deeper into this league. Heruta will just get this ball across. <laughs> Sabi ni Apreko, makakuha nga na isa pang agaw para sa aking fantasy stats. But Aaron Heruta is going to dribble away the time. So, oh, be kicked out of bounds here by Felix Apreco. And that will be Coco Pingoy handling the ball. Two consecutive victories after two consecutive losses. Back at the 500 mark. Ito ang kuponan ng Family's Brand Sardines, Atami Sardines, Zamboanga. And they were the ones who proved that they are not the fatigue team. And ito namang kuponan ng Danao City. M. Jazz Zenit now drops two consecutive games, Abby. That's right. After being down in the first half, they were able to flip the switch at the beginning of our second half. And this will be a great game for them going into their match against the AFP FSD Makati Cavaliers, who did beat the now city M. Jazz Zenit yesterday. It will be another interesting game at our hands for that game. One and three naman ang magiging kartada nitong kupuna ng Danao City, M. Jazz Zenit. What's her next game though? Danao. So yeah, I set you up, sorry. <laughs> Ahanapin pa ni Javi. But again, one and three, it's still early in the competition. That's only their fourth game. And they will still be playing a few more. Itong kupuna ng uh, Danao City. So, we send it now to Naj Miravalles with our pure gold player of the game. Thank you, Noel. Our pure gold best player of the game is none other than si Chito Jaime pa din. Chito, kanina sabi sa inyo ni Coach Hubert, find the right person who will make the proper shots. Obviously, ikaw yun with 25 points. Ewan ko na lang kung meron pang mas tama pang person sa'yo. Magkasunod na yung magandang performance mo, Chito. Anong masasabi mo sa performance mo? Uh, yun lang. Una-una, nagpapasalamat ako sa Panginoon na nako namin yung panalo. Uh, halos lahat ng mga may right person eh. Uh, nagkakataon na na bawat Tira namin eh, na siyong shoot. Uh, yun, thank you kay Lord na nakon namin yung panahon. Ganda. Chito, sabi mo nga sa akin, yung mga nakaraang talo nyo, pakiramdam mo, ikaw yung may kasalanan. In the first half, nagkaroon ng kaba dahil lamang yun Danao. Pero nung second half, nabawi nyo naman. Anong naramdaman mo nung first half at anong nabago nung second half? Uh, ano naman, wala naman. Uh, sabi ko lang sa mga kasama ko na kailangan namin maglaro na maayos sa uh, team effort. And tulong-tulong lang, basta kahit anong kalabasan ng laro, basta ibigay namin yung best namin. Message mo to your fans, Chito. Una-una, uh, uh, pasalamat ako kay God sa panalo. Eh, binabati ulat ng mga taga-Sambuanga. Kay Ma'am Anila Kao, may ari ng Family Brand Sardis. Uh, Maraming-maraming salamat po sa suporta. Kay Ma'am Tonet. Eh, binabati ko rin yung family ko nanonood dito. 
Uh, wife ko si Rosan, si Giana, nanay ko si Clarita, Ate Christy, Kuya Jay, Chong Orlan, and belated happy birthday nga pala sa pamaking mong kambal kay Kaila saka kay Karilka, and kay Jeng Jeng, kay Liza, kay Giana sa anak ko, and sa mga kapatid ko na, and lahat ng mga taga din na lupiang bataan, and biyadan ko pala si Mama Fe, si Bono, si Ito Baz, and lahat ng kamag-anak ng asawa ko dyan sa Sindangan, sa Sambuanga, mga Payag Boys, and taga din na lupiang bataan. Thank you po. Congrats, Chito. Thank you very much. Back to you, Noel and Javi. Maraming salamat. Our pure gold player of the game is Chito Jaime as Atami Sardine Zamboanga eats out a 12-point victory contra sa Danau City. But of course, we still have our third game on the horizon. When we return, the Muntinlupa Angeles Resort EOG Cooley squad will take on the Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. Stay with us for more action from the Phil Basket Summer Championship. For Javi Palanya, Naj Miravalles, ito po si Noel Zarate. Stand by for game number three of our triple header.